إن في الجنة نهرا من لبن. And our translator here, who I always get worried, they're saying this person's completely mad. <laughs> anyway. But that, that's the basis of translators. They have to be trustworthy. The, the, we were in a car once, and uh, one of my little boys said to my four year old, say to dad uh, to go and get some ice cream. And so he said, say to dad to go to get some ice cream. And I realized that secret of Qulhu Wallahu Ahad. You know, when Allah said, say, the Prophet ﷺ was so trustworthy and faithful in his transmission. He said exactly what he was told to say. Say. Because you have to be trustworthy to translate. Now, God, God, I love that. God. That's amazing. God. Oh, I cry. <laughs> Just for the people that are listening through the the sign language, Qalun, who's one of the great Quran uh, reciters, and he is a uh, he has a recension from Imam Nafi. Qalun was deaf. He couldn't hear except the Quran. And that's confirmed in all our books of Quranic transmission. He could only hear the Quran. <laughs>